the book is really about one question, which is easy to state but not so easy to answer. What should be the role of money and markets in our society? Today, there are fewer and fewer things that money can't buy. If you're sentenced to jail in Santa Barbara, for example, you can buy, if you have the money, you can buy a prison cell upgrade. Uh, there are now uh, tattoos on people's foreheads where people sell advertising space for up to $10,000. Or to take a more serious example, in Iraq and Afghanistan, there were more paid military contractors than U.S. military troops. Now, what I'm suggesting is that we need to have a public debate about where markets serve the public good and where they don't belong. If markets were simply a matter of voluntary exchange between two people, and this is the standard economic logic, then people should be free, the argument goes, to make whatever deals they want. But sometimes market values, when they reach into social life and civic life, crowd out important non-market values. And we need, I think, to step back and ask where markets serve the public good and where they don't belong. That's the great missing debate in our public life.